In the following circle, we have two chords, A, B, and C, D, that are perpendicular to each other. The lengths of some parts of these lines are given. We need to find the radius of this circle. This problem comes from a math contest in the 1970s. Can you figure it out? Pause this video and try it for yourself. We will use a simpler approach called coordinate geometry to solve this problem. First, we imagine the circle on a graph where the two chords meet at the point 0, 0, the center of the graph. We don't know where the center of the circle is yet, so we'll call its coordinates P, Q. Now, we'll label three points where the lines touch the circle. Point A is at negative 2, 0. Point B is at 6, 0. Point D is at 0, negative 3. Next, we use the equation of a circle to help us. The equation for a circle is a formula that gives the distance from any point on the circle to the center. For point A, the formula looks like this. Negative 2 minus P squared plus Q squared equals R squared, where R is the radius, which we are solving for. For point B, the formula is similar, and we now have two equations. We subtract this equation from the other. This cancels out some of the complicated parts, and we quickly figure out that P equals 2. With P equals 2, we plug it back into the formula for the circle to get another equation. 4 squared plus Q squared equals R squared. Now, using point D and the same formula, we get a third equation. We simplify this equation by knowing that P equals 2, and after subtracting again, we find that Q equals 0 0.5. Finally, with P equals 2 and Q equals 0 0.5, we put these into the original formula, and after some quick math, we find the radius. R equals the square root of 65 divided by 2, which is about 4.03. So good.